Hi folks. With all the incredible progress made in the space of large language models, several customers have asked how they can enable their SQL analysts to leverage this powerful technology in their day-to-day -day workflows. To do so, Databricks has released several AI functions that I will show you right now. As you can see over here, I'm using my notebook what I did call those AI functions. And those AI functions for now only support SQL warehouses. So I will call my SQL warehouse in, note, in a notebook. And let me start with the first one. The first function is AI analyze sentiment. So this function will perform sentiment analysis over an input uh, text. And as you can see over here, I love, I mentioned that I love my job more than my wife which is a negative sentiment. Of course, if I do switch this more than my job, I will have a positive outcome, which is super great. We still have faith in humanity. The second function is called AI extract. So this function will extract entities specified by a label from a given text. You can think about, for example, let's suppose you're getting several emails and you want to extract some important information in order to store them somewhere. And that's the case over here. You just call the AI extract. So I mentioned here, Yusef Murni is from Morocco and is a currently a solution architect at Databricks based in Paris. So I'm asking the model to extract the name of the person, the nationality and the company. And that's the case, as you can see, the person is Yusef, nationality more Morocco, and the company Databricks. The other function is AI fixed grammar. So this function will correct grammatical errors given in a SQL text. So as you can see here, my English is so good. I feel I am a native speaker. And that's the correct one. My English is so good, I feel I am a native speaker. Of course, you can combine those functions. For example, you can get an email, fix the, fix the errors, extract the, the uh, entities, and also get the sentiment analysis. For example, maybe it's support case, and you want to know whether the customer is angry or, or maybe happy, and what are the most important pieces there. You have also AI classified. And this one is given uh, some labels that you're going to input. The model will try to assess or to assess with which label it will assign to this specific one. So as you can see over here, I did mention that my laptop is broken. And I have two labels, bad, not bad. And you can see that it classifies this one as a bad one. We have the AI gen. So this function will answer questions or a prompt by a user. And that's what I did over here. So I'm asking the model to generate a text praising Morocco in 10 words. And that's the case, Morocco, vibrant culture, stunning landscape, rich history. And then we have also AI mask. So this function, of course, will mask some specific entities based on the input. So over here, um, saying that I live in Beson and my salary is 10 million euros per year. Of course, I'm kidding. <laughs> and I'm specifying that this function should uh, mask the city and the salary. And that's the case. If I run this, I will have the, the, uh, the uh, mask test. So use lives in mass and his salary is, and you have the answer. You can think about this, for, for example, if you have some important in for some sensitive data so you can get the input the right the uh, plain text create a view or like create a view and this view will be filled with mask data to make sure that sensitive data are not uh, visible to to someone for example and then we have of course the ai summarize of course this function will summarize uh, a text and as you can see over here so i have a text about Apache Spark. I will have this summary over here. Apache Spark is a unified multi-language analytics engine for large-scale data processing with MLlib graphics and real-time data support. And of course, last but not least, we have AI Translate. So this function is translating uh, text. So far, it supports only English and Spanish. 
But of course, it will evolve. And that's the case. So select uh, AI translate. I speak Spanish very well. I, and I specify the language. So the result is yo hablo espanol muy bien. Those functions uh, relies on the paper token uh, models. And they are backed by Mixtral 8x7b interacts. Don't hesitate to try them. Thank you.